Have you been thinking of trying to get the perfect ginger recipe? And no matter how hard you try, my dear, you know they work. You are tired. You're going to be learning six tips in this video on how to get the perfect ginger every time. And the last one is amazing. You wouldn't want to miss out on that. Tip number one, don't add too much butter. My dear, this ginger recipe, it is a snacks that you fry. In fact, any snacks that you fry, especially ginger, minimize the amount of butter you add. It will not make it more crunchy. It will make it too soggy and soft and you won't like it. Tip number but when mixing your dough, my dear, add water and beat. Remember, you are rolling your dough. Add water little by little to get your dough together. Don't just pour the water. Yeah. <laughs> With that, your dough will come out looking too soft. It's going to be this firm. Tip number three, use milk water. Use milk instead of water to prevent dough from sticking together. This ginger recipe you can see here, I use milk. You can see it is so firm. I did not need to dust with flour. It did not even stick together. When you use milk to mix and you go on to fry, even your ginger recipe will not form in the oil. Using milk instead of water, especially when you are making your ginger recipe in small quantities, will also help it to come out better and your oil will not form. And my dear, it will not stick together. As in, there was a time I was trying to manage money and I said, my dear, who has money to buy me? Milk. I will not use milk. I will use water. And I made this ginger recipe. You can see here. Look at it. Not be small wahala. To even cut, I had to dust my fingers with flour. I had to dust the knife with flour. I had to dust the surface with flour. As if that was not enough. After stressing me to cut by dusting with flour so that it won't stick together. Even the tray I put it on, I had to sprinkle lots and lots and lots of flour so that it won't stick together. As in, not be small sofa sofa. Going on to fry. Fear no allow me put pork the changing inside the oil as in i had to be putting the change in little by little because i do not want the oil to foam as i'm putting the change in was more small the way the thing was foaming was even scaring me i had to add the change in a little little bit so that it won't foam so my dear use milk especially when you want to make it for your family for your friends or even a client that is willing to pay use milk it will save you the stress and your change will come out better <laughs> Tip number four: Use egg yolk alone, alongside with powder milk and corn flour, to give you the to give you to give your changing recipe a more crunchy feel and taste. I've discovered that skipping the egg whites and using corn flour and powdered milk enhance the crunchiness of your changing. You can see this changing recipe you are seeing here. I just tried that tips, and this is what I got. The changing looks so good, as you can see it. So try adding milk, corn flour into your changing recipe don't add too much baking powder tip number five my dear too much of baking powder will not increase the quantity of your changing it will only make your your oil to form and make your changing to even absorb more oil tip number six combine flavors if you do not have money to use plenty egg combine flavors combining flavors like cinnamon milk flavor nutmeg vanilla and butter chocolate flavor which i've tried gives your changing an exceptional taste try it you will come back and thank me final tip fry your medium heat don't crowd your oil as in don't go and light huge firewood and put the fire as if you are cooking party rice no fry your medium heat allow your chinchin to be bubbling slightly don't pour all your chinchin at once fry them in batches let them not be too much in your oil if they are too much they will reduce the temperature of the oil and cause your chinchin to absorb too much oil and fry don't allow your oil to be too hot if not your chinchin recipe will get burnt i don't know if this tip have helped you if it has do like share and subscribe to debbie's kitchen for more tips like this see you next time bye bye good to have you here